This is the Good Neighbor Podcast, the place where local businesses and neighbors come together. Here's your host, Cabo Jim Schaller. Welcome, good neighbors, to episode number 105 of the Good Neighbor Podcast, Estero. Today we have good neighbors Brian and Nicole from Nicoletta and Co. Welcome. Hi, Jim. How are you? I am doing awesome. Pleasure to get to meet you guys and understand a little bit about what you guys do. So why don't we jump right in and why don't you share what you do over at Nicoletta and Co. Go ahead. <laughs> You're on. Nice putting me on the spot. Um, so we're a, a boutique luxury remodeling and design company. Um, I have a building contractor's license, so I'm state licensed. Um, but it really focuses around my wife's ability to be a, a designer. Um, and we try to be a boutique, meaning we don't take on too many customers all at once. Uh, we try to give a, a more personalized service to the customer through the build versus, you know, some contractors out there, they just take everything in as much as they can. And then they're running behind. They can't finish the job on time. Uh, we try to schedule it, you know, where we only take on certain projects uh, that are obviously going to be able to afford us to feed our six kids. Mm -hmm. um, so we do take on enough projects to stay afloat, but we don't take on enough to put us under where we're not getting things finished. And that's that's important to manage because, like yes. you mentioned, there's a lot of people that take stuff and then spread them spells them thin, and yes. then they're, they're not finishing their jobs. And the customer's going, "We're going on six, seven, eight months now. It's been a year, and it's still yes. not done." Yeah, so. we hear a lot of stories like that where uh, you know their prior projects took way longer, or they weren't prom you know they were promised a certain thing and nothing happened. So uh, we try to deliver the best customer service at the end of the day versus you know more of the quality over quantity aspect absolutely, absolutely. yeah we're both born and raised here in bonita springs um you were yes we're both born and raised we went to astero high we graduated we both graduated from astero high so we've seen this place grow um and we've seen you know there's a, a thousand contractors down here there's always been a lot of contractors right. and you kind of just you learn as you grow up here uh some contractors are are just terrible um and right. in southwest florida it's not really that hard to be a good contractor you just do what you say you you know deliver on what you promised uh follow your timeline um so that's kind of what when we got into this thing we were trying to model our business around uh not being like every other contractor in the area um showing up when you're supposed to show up yes. you know yes. being on time getting things done you know this is the biggest <laughs> yes right it's the little thing it. yeah and customer <laughs> service has gone you know it's it's sadly something of the past there's not a lot of people that focus on it to them it's just turn and burn and it's just like yeah. and you know I'm, we have I'm customers, uh i mean she'll be in bed at 10 o'clock and a customer will text us personally uh so we are always communicating uh we're not the contractor that you know after five o'clock you can't get a hold of me um, you know, we are very personal. Like I said, she responds to text messages at 10 o'clock at night sometimes. Um, wow. yeah, see, doing best designing. <laughs> there you see that's your mind's always thinking, right? That's yeah. it. So you mentioned you had a contractor's license. What made you guys decide to go into business? Uh, so I kind of came up with this idea before. Uh, so we were high school sweethearts. Uh, I went off to college. Um, on a full football scholarship from Astero to Middle Tennessee State. And I was gonna study construction there at in college, uh, try to be like an engineer or architect. I blew my knee out. Um, so I came home into the working world and I did a bunch of odds and end jobs, bounced around. Uh, my dad is a sign contractor in Benita Springs. He does all the city signs for Benita. And he, when I, I used to work with him a lot when I was a kid, he always told me, you know, you need to be a general contractor. You need to be a general contractor. Um, I, I used to have a clothing company as well. Uh, that's, it's called flowgrown.com. It's in Bell's outlets and Dick's Sporting Goods. It's in all these things. Uh, and when I sold that, I kind of was like in limbo. Um, and I just didn't know where, what direction I was going to go in life. And I decided I was like, you know what? My dad always said, be a general contractor. So I went and got a job as a laborer, um, working just with the hands and started all the way up. Uh, so I had this idea about 
you know, many, many years ago before we, we became, uh, before we got married and before we got back together. Uh, and then kind of life just kind of put her in my path again. And I was just like, man. I was I, already I, doing remodeling. Um, I had worked for a different remodeling company for about five years. So it just kind of fell it back fell, together. It fell back together. Right, um, right. I was already, you know, I, I ended up working for stock development, uh, building custom homes. And I was, you know, I had the books and I was studying. And then I went to work for Dean Just Diamond. They're like the top 275 commercial contractor in the country. They're out of Naples. I uh, was building like high rises, you know, $60 million buildings. And through that process, we ended up getting back together. Um, we were tired of making money for everyone else. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Who is it? So, right. Yeah, right. The right. Truth. No. It was a perfect marriage, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Literally. Uh, it just fell, it just fell back together. Um, and he looked at me one day and he's like, I'm getting my license and we're going to do this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was a goal I had set, you know, eight years prior. Uh, yep. It just life kind of provided provides you with those opportunities um, where it provided me back with a woman in my life that is phenomenal at design and is really good with the customers and puts out a product that most people around here don't don't have the eye or the, the vision to pull together. Um, you know, when we first started doing it, I would be like, you sure about that? Like, are you, you, you know, you sure that color towel or this or that? And she's like, trust me, it's going to be phenomenal. Uh, so now I just stay in my lane and build it. Uh, <laughs> See, he's a good husband. There you go, right? Stay in my lane, and I just build whatever she, <laughs> she designs. Um, but yeah, we. I really, when I finally got the license, uh, I told her I was like, "Look, I'm going to name this thing after you." Uh, and she's like, "Well, you know, why don't we name it like a construction company?" And I was like, "Because I don't want to be a construction company. I want to be an interior design and remodeling firm um, with you as the face of it." You know. A lot of people, when they start a project, they want somebody to help them design the project before finding the contractor. Yeah. Um, so with what we have together, they get the design part and the builder all in one. Well, and it helps that you're working together because then you're working in a like mine instead of you designing it and passing it along to somebody else who, yeah, maybe they might do it the way I kind of envision. But, you know, right. it's, that's usually yeah. where the disconnect is in construction yep. is the designer, you know, the client hires the designer and then the client hires the contractor and they have maybe a once a week meeting on site or they talk on via email back and forth. There's never actually like always great collaboration. I mean, in some circumstances, obviously there is, but with this, a lot of what sets us apart is the client loves the fact that we are together like they get me through the whole project hands on all the time and then obviously they know that what we are designing and what they are picturing is going to get done because he's building it <laughs> right absolutely so we've all we've all had some type of i'm going to say challenge along our journey is there something that maybe ha happened along your journey that you can look back at now and say you know what we're we're in a better place because we went through it um challenge uh i mean there's a lot of challenges in life I mean, <laughs> uh, well yeah, owning I mean, your own business is a challenge yeah, yeah. and yeah. you talk about like our first year obviously was was challenging um both of us going from making you know way more money working for somebody else to then having to say okay we're gonna do this pour everything we have into it um learning to adjust living life within those means with having six kids, with being married, with being together almost 24 seven all day, every day. Yeah. I guess that first year was the <laughs> um, oh, definitely that's, you know, there were days where we were like, I'm not sure we're going to get through this. Um, but one of us always was, was at the point where we weren't giving up, whether I was the one giving up, he wasn't, or if he was giving up, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. So we just kept pushing through. And uh, yeah. I think we've, if we've made it through that, we are going to get through the rest that, you know, until we're done. Perfect. Perfect. So are there any myths or maybe misconceptions about, you know, what you guys do that we can maybe clear up for our listeners? Um, I mean, he touched base on it a little bit in the beginning. Uh, a lot of times contractors, remodeling companies in Southwest Florida get a bad rap of, you know, not being able to deliver, produce, making 
promises they can't keep as far as we go in that bad rap. Uh, there are clients that have had such horrible experiences. It takes me some time to gain their trust and go through the process and, and get them to understand that we are not everybody else. And I, what I am telling you is going to happen. Um, and we promise when you're done, it's going to be, you know, what you wanted and done on time. And, you know, we can't promise that it's going to be perfect, but through the whole as process. As close as possible. Yeah. I mean, it's construction. Yeah. And Especially yep. remodeling. But it's, you know, as yep. perfect as it can get. Um, there you go. Luxury remodeling. So, so are you seeing any trends in the industry? Mm. Uh, we just did a steam shower. Yeah. Um, in Naples, which was a really, really cool project. Uh, I, I believe steam showers and uh, cold plunges are like yeah. a, a trend right now. Uh, we do that personally at our house. We have a cold plunge. Uh, we go to the sauna and. Um, I believe a lot of homeowners now are putting in these wet areas where they have a steam shower built in and then a cold plunge there in the, in their house. Uh, obviously you have to have a house big enough for that type of setup, but I do see that happening a lot. Um, people, you know, mm -hmm. health and wellness minded, mm -hmm. uh, really investing in, in that. Yeah, aspect that's, of it. that's yeah. an More up and coming out. industry. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people are, are leaning more towards functionality in their home versus just the aesthetic. Um, right. and that's, I, that's what I push people on all the time. Well, I really, really want this. I'm like, well, I can give it to you, but how functional is this for your right. everyday life? Um, you have to live here. So that's right. always my question. Everybody always has that one room in a house where it looks really nice, but we only use it when company comes over. And right. don't even look in there, actually. Just <laughs> right, right. right. <laughs> That's where I'm storing everything. It's okay. It'll be yes. Right. So I know you don't have a lot of free time outside of work, but what do you guys enjoy doing when you do have some free time? Uh, I personally enjoy doing hot yoga. Um, Which he's also made me enjoy. Um, I don't get to do it as as much neither one of us do right now yeah. um we also have a boat that we love to go out on um don't get to go there no nope. very much either Hopefully Saturday. <laughs> uh yeah we, we go paddleboarding i mean like you the said kids with have, his kids the kids six are kids. in sports so um, that's our that's uh, our that takes up a lot of time right there going yeah. to all day track meets going to soccer games on saturdays right. jujitsu um Cheerleading. Yeah. We, uh, right. One of the kids is doing something every day. Every, uh, so you see, every growing day. Up, growing up, it was just I'd show up for practice after school, and then I'd play the games, and then that was it. Oh. Now it's travel. And now it's I drive every, an hour and 15 oh, minutes to Fort yeah. Myers for a track. It's <laughs> crazy. So what's one thing that you wish our listeners knew about Nicoletta & Co. that maybe they don't know? Well, I, I'm, again, Brian touched base on it in the beginning a little bit, just to know that we are structured as boutique and we, we do, you know, it's on our website. We do tell everyone that. So in our initial consultation, uh, I, I do make that aware, but for the people who, you know, are on the fence or haven't reached out or are kind of wanting to get something done, um, good things Sometimes you have to wait for them. And right now we are currently booking into the summer of 2025. So wow. um, we can promise you that your project will be beautiful. It will be done in the time frame we give you. But uh, we are boutique and you're going to get that absolute boutique experience. It's like if you go into a boutique as a woman and you go shopping, you're handed a glass of champagne. They're literally grabbing things off of the shelf, you know, the racks to have you. You're just standing in the dressing room and you're the princess queen for the day. I go out and find all of these amazing pieces of tile and cabinetry and layouts and I bring them to you or we go out shopping for the day and have lunch and maybe a glass of champagne as well. <laughs> There, it's nothing wrong yeah. with that. Absolutely. It's so how would, a glass of champagne. I see it <laughs> so how would our listeners go about getting a hold of you if they were interested in learning more? Um, they can call my cell phone direct. It's our direct business line, 239-776-5858. Oh. Or they can go right on our website, nicolettacompany.com. Um, there is a call to action link at the bottom. They can submit um, a little bit of info about themselves, and then I would reach out to them 
to get them scheduled on an appointment. Very it's got good. links to our social media, Facebook, Instagram, all of that as well. Thank you. Well, thank you, Nicole and Brian. It's been a pleasure getting to know you. Thank you for being such good neighbors. And I hope to see you out in the community here soon. Thank you, Jim. Appreciate appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you for listening to the Good Neighbor Podcast Astero. To nominate your favorite local businesses to be featured on the show, go to gnpastero.com. That's gnpastero.com. Or call 239-296-2621.